flagship chip still talking sports, but I wanted to bring up an important issue in sports with you guys. I want to know what you think of violence in sports. Violence is awesome. It's on the pitch. No, if it's on Obviously, the pitch. Obviously, only a guy could say this. See, no, this no. is why girls are, don't watch sports. No, because I play rugby. It is ridiculous. So when, you, when you're on the field playing rugby, you have to be competitive and there's some violence on the pitch. Yes, all, yes, there is all, violence. But is it necessary to hurt each other to get a ball from one end of the field to the other? And that then, seems ridiculous. I don't believe that you play rugby. You are way too uncoordinated for that. I Sorry. can't believe that's like the only proudest thing I ever achieved. Rugby. My own life. Yeah, because we won like the biggest tournament, seven tournament for colleges, like the biggest in the world. Well, All congratulations. Right. Thank you very much. I don't want to brag about it. I'm just, I was really good. So, but, so were you guys like, rugby's a very violent sport though, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, so did you ever get hurt? Well, to play sport, well, you know, rugby is different to American football. You don't have any like all the body pads and everything else. Um, on the pitch, yeah. Because sometimes you get hit like on different places at once, and then, um, well, there's a story. The college next to us, there's a kid like when he was 16, he was in a scrum, you know, the scrum, when the two, two sides hit together and then push for the ball, and then um, the scrum collapsed, and then he kind of like broke his neck and he kind of died on the pitch. Imagine how those. Players would feel though that like your friend just, like just died there. That's I mean. really difficult. Yeah, sometimes it comes with sport, but if you take it, you know, not too extreme, I'm sure it's gonna be safe also. But what about in football, like in European football? Yeah. What, no, a, what was it? That guy who just bit that leg? Yeah, Soros. Soros bit the leg. He's a Liverpool player. Don't I say know, that. I know, I'm a Liverpool fan. See, this, but this, still, he wait, bit so someone's back leg. Up. What happened? The guy got tackled, so um, he got up. He didn't even get up. He just, he just, he was sitting on the, on the, on the pitch, and then start like grab someone in the arm and, and then he just bit grabbed. Him. He bit him. This is a little bit of Mike Tyson action. <laughs> yeah. Ah. I think, it, I think it missed the ear though. Yeah, in the yeah. leg. But, but that's all the violence you get in football. You know, either you kick them in the leg or you start fighting people, but no more harm than that. Well, you see, I come from, you know, I'm Canadian, so we watch a lot of hockey. And a lot of crazy hockey players. Hockey is like such a bad sport because they allow fighting. How could you allow people punching each other and then say, yeah, just stop and carry on. They're like, all right. They say it's for performance. You know, it's for the show to kind of, look, the fans love it. They're like, the yeah, yeah, come on, you know. But they're yeah. not doing wrestling. This is the argument. The aim, the aim of the game is, is, is to put is the it? puck through the goal. Yeah. Also, there's a really big debate in um, hockey for young kids, like for teenagers and younger, if body checking should be allowed, you know, like, who? No, 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 no! You don't body check like that. Body? I don't do to you like that. You don't it's, body it's check like that. Yeah. That's but, a... but I think when when the violence is under the control atmosphere or like uh -huh. with the pitch or while you're playing, it's okay. Okay, it wouldn't get too overboard. But when the fans get really violent, that's true. That it's another level. They, they call them hooligans. Hooligan. In, in, in the eighties, seventies, it's such a big thing because you know the football fans, right? At that time. Before they become a fans, because all the teams are from the local area, so you get really connected to the thing, and it's like a sense of identity for them. It is. So it everything's is a bit get different. overboard when they like start losing the match. They start marching out, start like beating up people. Especially Do you drunk when drinking is allowed. We so. get very upset too, though. Remember that yeah. time when David Beckham threw the World Cup? Oh, when, when he got sent got off so in 1998 to the France. We got so mad at David Beckham. Yes. shed a tear like he doesn't want to talk about seriously, this, you can see. I cried when he got sent off. No, sir, I was very upset. I remember yeah. watching that game going... And then a whole oh. nation, a whole fans, and like all the all the news, they were just all the tabloids completely splashed him on the, on the front page. They're like he's like, you know, betrayed the country and how what do you he mean failed he, a whole nation. He threw it like he messed up at the end. Well, it, no, it was like a good match, right? It was too old, yeah. we were winning. Performing wise, um, we were playing better than them, and then Beckham got sent off like because for he, 90 minutes because, because he, he like played acting. Yeah, he like kicked someone. Really? Yeah, and then we lost the match. We got sent off the world. We got sent home from the World Cup. So, so people were very upset about this. Yes, yes. I mean, his, I was. Thank you. You're a big Liverpool fan. So, I mean, how did you get into Liverpool? Like, how was that your team? Um, from my brother. My brother started watching Liverpool. He was Liverpool fans. Because Thailand, we grew up with either Liverpool or Man U or Man Man Manchester United. So um, it's either one of these two. And then my family just happened to be from Liverpool. 
and then I get to watch them growing up with them. When it comes to UK, I go watch them play, so that how I get really connected. So mm. you're pretty competitive by nature too. I right? am very competitive by nature, so but whoever. I, I have to say thank you. Why? Because Bank was actually really nice to me at the Wake Park. Bank was nice to you? He was nice was to me. I was surprisingly nice. I, I helped you out, didn't I? Because you know how he's such a competitive, arrogant person. Oh, that was some, that was some <laughs> tough words. Well, just in case you guys don't believe me, go check out the day when Bank was actually nice to Bank me at so Thai nice. Wake Park. Um, now I have to pick a board. Which one? For a professional like me, um, I should have my own, but you know, I'm just so good that I can play with any board, so it doesn't matter. We're gonna make sure, like every four, safe. Safety first. Oh my lord. They, they made these for rejects like us. For what? For people like me? You don't know how to tie shoes. <laughs> so right now oh, it's we're nice about fresh, to eh? wakeboard, right? We're gonna yeah. try to wakeboard. Well, it's our turn. Now the queue has been long. We've been waiting for five minutes. So make sure you get around, right, JP? Yeah. Well, um, which queue are you going to be on? That one when you when you start, you have to stand. Yeah, for the rookie like you. <laughs> well, let's see how we do on this one, man. I was once a beginner, so of course I got tips. But um, I don't know. Pretty much like the start's the hardest part. As soon as you're up, as soon as you're out on the water, that's the easiest part. The start is like keeping the handle right into your hip and not, not trying to pull on the rope, just letting it, letting it try and take you up. Instead of fighting it with it, just keep it in, the, and keep it in the hip that you want to go forward. Once you get the trick, uh, it's, the hardest thing is uh, to, to get started, to get started, but once you get the trick, it's really easy to just turn around and then for, uh, for the, uh, the obstacles, uh, I don't know, just gotta, gotta learn the, the thing. Just keep your stability and that's it. It's all about uh, positioning your body weight. So, um, you know, how much weight you put on uh, each leg. That's the most important. You put more weight on your back leg, of course. And uh, put, put all your weight uh, towards the back because the, the cable is going to pull you forward, right? So you're going to have to lean back. And then after that, it's just, about, it's just a matter of finding your balance and then you'll get, you'll get the hang of it. You'll get the hang of it. It's our turn now, yeah. man. Oh, I'll help you. I'll help you. Why? Yeah. You Dude. want my board? Yeah, yeah, it's a nice board. Like yeah, it's quite, it's quite a good board. Good. What? Why are you shaking? I'm not shaking. What? What? Stop showing your ass to the camera, man. That's not nice. I'm gonna try. What are you doing? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one. This one. This one. This one. Time's come. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Sometimes you can get hit pretty hard, but never, uh, I've never been seriously injured. Last year at one of the um, comps just before in practice, I like tore a few ligaments in my ankle. So I, was, I couldn't ride that competition. I had to go back to Australia and rest for two months. And then 
after that two months I was better. Okay. So I was lucky it wasn't a really bad injury, you know. Yeah, I've actually cracked my head once. Uh, I've been knocked out before. Trying to do pretty hard tricks, like when you get big air, you, you, you've got you've got quite a bit of speed. So when you come down and hit the water, your head smacks on it pretty hard. Yeah, yeah. For a beginner, I'd say if you come come do it every day, no more than a week, man. Within a few days, you'll be able to do it. I've seen people do it on their first day. I've seen people take a few days, take a week. But yeah, it, de it just depends on how much you want to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey guys, I'm a little late, so I really should be rushing to go see Ben, but I'm having a lot of fun watching people fall. Hopefully I don't have to go in, but anyway, since I'm so late and I'm sure Bank is probably drowning somewhere, I better go find him. Hi! <laughs> hey. What are you doing here? Hi! See, how about I just sit here and interview you? How was your experience? Uh. Oh, it's so much fun. This is my first time here and um, it's so excited how everyone is like watching you and like Everyone make up. watches you? Yeah, because I like, you know, wipe out in front of them so many times. Yeah, we're just waiting for you to see Sarah's fall. But I'm not going in there. Yeah, uh, you are coming. No, I'm not. Go. Bang! No! All right, it's been another awesome day with Flagship, and uh, thank you for having me on. Barbara, I miss you. And hopefully next time you're here doing another maybe bungee jumping. Can we do that next time? No. Skydiving? No. Why? You yeah, anything, man. Does it be fashion every time? <laughs> After the break, watch your favorite in-channel host in the action from the pool to the push at the in-channel sports day.